now we are going to tell you how to make connection with RJ45 to and also test them or how to make a connection with CAT6 first we need a CAT6 cable we are going to cut this one as you can see we have CAT6 first we need a wire stripper you can put it like that and make it round like this take it out carefully and pull the outside part so as you can see we have four pairs and eight wires inside and also we have wire separator we cut the separator from inside and separate them each wire and then you can pull it one by one to make them straight all of the wires you need to make them straight and, then, and pull them it will be look like this to make a connection you need to make them in the sequence if you don't know you can check by the google there are two types T568B, T568A now I am going to make it A model so you can make them one by one all of the wires in the sequence how you have in the picture and pull them like this now you need a creeping tool to crimp them as you can see I have in my hands First, you need to cut a bit extra wire this is RJ45 pass through connector and first you need to check the sequence and push them inside the wire and push them how much is possible for you as you can see and also check the sequence and then you need to put inside the crimper and press them good when you press them make sure you press them good otherwise the connection will not be good and try to make it once only first check the connection and cut the extra wire with the knife and now you can see the connection is ready now we are going to make another end of the cat 6 we do the same process how we did before but now i am going to show you if the rj45 is not passed through how to make a connection first cut the extra wire then take rj45 connector and check the size and cut them extra wire something like this then take rj45 this is passed through but you can the process is same you can check the sequence how you did it on other side you have to make them this side same as you can see make something like this push it well all the sides should be going inside and also grip them with the help of crimping tool and press it good so the other end is ready now we are going to check them the connection is good or not first switch it on the tester this is the cable tester we put one side in the one tester side of the tester and other side in the other side of the tester and now you can see all the numbers are showing if the number are showing on the same side 1 2 3 4 5 6 it means they are good now i am going to tell you if the wires are wrong by mistake if you put them wrong wire how it will show you this make a connection like this this time i gonna put it the brown and light brown on the wrong side and increase them how i did it before now i gonna show you how it look like so as you can see the both lights of one two three four is going good but when you reach on number seven and eight it will show you up and down so it means the wires you put them on the wrong so now i'm going to tell you if there's a one wire is missing or when you make the been told you did not press it good how it will look like so i am going to cut the white wire as you can see here now we are going to test it how it will look like so you can see one two three four five six is going good and seven is missing and eight is up and down because last time i make a connection like this 